video clip shows a general view of the tools required to give a professional installation and we will deal with these in a separate video clip. When arriving on site, before starting your installation, it is vital to check that you have the correct material in the correct colour and thickness, preferably of the same batch number. Usually the rolls will be numbered on the bottom right hand corner of the label and your material should be arranged in the numerical sequence of the roll numbers to minimise the possibility of colour variation. The label clearly indicates the colour, the batch number, the size of the material and the roll number. The roll number can clearly be seen at the bottom right hand side of the label under the barcode and irrespective of gaps in the numerical sequence should be used in numerical order as this is the sequence of manufacturing. Should you have two or three batch numbers it should be planned to use the material in different areas so as to minimize the chance of color variation being visible in one area. Depending on the site conditions you would install either the flooring or the coving first but whichever using a board gauge as indicated on the video clip. It is more accurate to mark both the floor and the wall from the gauge which will be consistent throughout the installation. You will note on the gauge that the corner fitting into the cove where the wall and floor meet has been cut away at 45 degrees to allow for either the cove former or any minor variation or contamination that might occur in the corner. The benefit of using a board gauge as demonstrated is that whether you install the cove first or the floor first you can mark the same dimensions when having to trim either prior to welding as your floor or wall marks may be covered up after the first segment of the installation. These markings would be clearly snapped with a chalk line and it should be very clearly understood that only chalk and not oxide should be used in your chalk line as chalk is easily removed and brushed away whereas oxide leaves a permanent mark which is often difficult to remove even off the sheeting. You will see from the video clip using the gauge and a standard builder's square it is advisable to mark the corners accurately for the coving. <music>